Oh, oh dang on it, my wheel fell off. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. In today's video, I wanna talk about some of the dangers of not torquing your wheels. Let's get into it. Now, obviously auto manufacturers know exactly what their automobile is gonna be used for, whether it's a larger truck like this one, a little bit more heavy duty, or even a smaller passenger car like this. Essentially, they wanna make sure that whatever they do, it's gonna be the safest for you as a passenger driving down the road. Now, a smaller passenger car like this is obviously gonna have a lower torque rating than the heavy duty truck, like what I was saying before. Essentially, for a passenger car, typically what you're gonna find for a torque rating would be anywhere between 76, maybe even upwards of 100, or even 120 sometimes. And on a larger truck like this, typically you're gonna have a higher torque rating on this, generally never under 100 foot-pounds, but more than likely it's gonna be at least 100, even up to 165 in some instances. So now we should probably talk about what torque wrench to use. The most common type of torque wrench you're gonna see is one that looks like this, which is essentially a twist type. I would just go ahead and twist this until it gets to the proper torque, and then that's where I'm gonna to torque my lug nuts to. They of course have a digital one as well, but that's gonna be a little bit more expensive. For somebody that's just doing brakes or something like that in their driveway once in a while, who's gonna spend the extra money on digital when you can just go with something like this and it works perfectly. On something like this, typically if you look at one side, you're gonna see an area that has a gauge for foot pounds. And then if you were to go ahead and spin it around, generally you're gonna see something that says Newton meters. Those are gonna be the two most common torque specifications for lug nuts. Now this digital one right here is gonna be able to do foot pounds, it's gonna be able to do Newton meters and even inch pounds. Of course, something like this is really only gonna go up to approximately 100 foot pounds. So to be able to do this car, yeah, I could probably do it. But to do this truck over here, it's pretty much useless. And two things that you're never gonna use for torquing your lug nuts would be an inch pound torque wrench that looks like this. Obviously that's not gonna be able to torque anything except for maybe something under the hood or even under the dash if you had to. And of course a ratchet that looks like this. This is not gonna be able to torque anything. Essentially you'll be able to tighten it up and it's probably gonna be snug, but what's it torque to? I don't know. Now typically when it comes time to either removing or installing your wheel, you're gonna use one of three things to do it. Whether it's an air gun that looks like this, maybe you have an air compressor in your yard or something like that, maybe in the shed. Maybe you have a nice long ratchet. This is gonna give you some leverage to make sure you can get those lug nuts off and it's great. Or of course, if you were to get inside your automobile and be able to find your tire change kit, you're gonna be able to find the wrench that actually fits onto your lug nut directly. And any of these are gonna be great for removing the lug nuts, but when it comes time to reinstalling them, you need to make sure you use the torque wrench. And if you don't, there's a couple different things that can happen. You can either under torque your lug nuts or even you can over torque your lug nuts. Both of them are gonna have different effects, but essentially it's not gonna be good for your car overall. In most cases, when you're working on a heavier truck like this, it's a more probable situation where the lug nuts are gonna be under torqued, because essentially these should have a very high torque rating. And of course, if you're just using a ratchet or something like this, it's probably not gonna get up to the proper torque. Also, you can imagine behind here, if these lug nuts aren't torqued, the brake rotor is not gonna be tightly held up against the hub. So essentially, every time you're braking, or even while you're driving down the road, that brake rotor could be moving around. Essentially, that's gonna cause a brake pulsation. It's not gonna feel very good while you're inside your passenger compartment. Something else to mention is if the lug nuts are left loose, it could potentially damage the studs, the lug nuts, or even the wheel itself. And of course, if your lug nuts are severely under torqued, or even if a couple of them are under torqued, there's a possibility that they could loosen up over time with road vibrations or anything like that. And if you can imagine any of these lug nuts coming off, what's gonna be holding your wheel to the actual truck itself? And that's a very dangerous situation. Ah, now we're gonna talk about over torquing lug nuts. Now, if you over torque your lug nuts, you're gonna be putting more than the required amount of pressure on your mounting points, such as your lug nuts, studs, wheels, hubs, or even brakes. Now, over torque lug nuts can have threading that looks like this, which is an extreme case. It's extremely mangled on the inside and it's definitely unusable. Or essentially, you might find that the stud or the lug nut threads themselves are stretched. If you over torque something, you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on those contact points and it's gonna cause damage. So essentially, by over torquing it, you could essentially stretch that stud so it's a little bit longer. It's not really perceivable to the eye, but it is something that's gonna cause damage to the stud overall. And of course, if we're gonna talk about the wheels or the brakes themselves, you could experience warping, where essentially by putting extra torque on any of these lug nuts or even all of them, you're gonna put extra pressure than what's required. So of course, that's gonna cause something where it could potentially warp the rim itself or even the brakes behind it. Okay, friends, so that's pretty much what I've got for you on the importance on making sure that you torque your wheels anytime that you remove one of them. Like I said, this automobile right over here has a much lower torque specification than this one over here. You need to go by your manufacturer's specifications. They know what's right for your particular application. Okay, friends, while well, I hope you liked the video, maybe you learned a little something along the way, or maybe you have a story to tell. Either way, leave it in the comment section below because I always love to hear from you. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you smash on that like button for me. It mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, that way there you 
can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks.